Hi guys, welcome back. First, we're going to start off with this pre-shampoo from African Pride that I absolutely love. The main ingredient in this is aloe vera. You could absolutely substitute this for a actual aloe vera plant, but I really love this. It just gives my hair such nice slip. Like, I haven't, at this point where that you're watching this, I have not combed my hair in a few days. I don't really comb my hair every day. Um, so this really helps me get through it before I wash it and without having any tangles or any of that. So I just leave this on for about 10 minutes before I wash it out. And as you can see, my hair is a lot more manageable than it was when I first started talking to y'all. <laughs> So, y'all, yeah, I'm going to be clarifying or shampooing, rather, with the Eden Body Works Clarifying Shampoo. I love this. It gives your scalp that little tingling sensation that I absolutely love. And I'm also going to be going in with these two conditioners right after I wash my hair. But don't be alarmed. I am going to deep condition. This is just the conditioners right after I wash and i know it's pretty weird but i don't like washing my hair in the shower i know somebody's gonna ask i don't like it <laughs> and the sink was occupied so don't be alarmed girl the long as the hair get washed next i'm gonna be using the jamaican black castor oil treatment from okay i really love this it makes my hair super soft i leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes i know i'm looking crazy but i really do like this stuff and i think it gives your hair like a thickness over time so i really do enjoy this i try to do this on a regular basis next i'm just gonna put my hair up and let it sit for about a good 10 to 15 minutes okay just like that and next after i rinse this out i deep condition this is me taking the cap off and i love this iso plus i don't know how to say that but it's a deep repair conditioner and it has protein and coconut oil and shea butter in it i love this stuff like i really love this especially when i know i'm about to get some braids because your hair needs protein before you go into braids it just helps it stay strong and after I rinse out that deep conditioner, I let it sit in for about 25 to 30 minutes. After I rinse that out, I turned on Ozark, girl. Have y'all been watching Ozark? It's getting serious, okay? I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna tell the business. You just go do what you gotta do. Next, I'm gonna be using the G, the keratin spray, and then the leave-in conditioner. I'll have the stuff linked down below if you guys are interested because I don't have the products in front of me right now. So I may not be saying the names as well as I should be. So I'm just have the information down there in the description box to make up for it. Okay. So first I'm going to be spraying the green tea revitalizer. And then I'm going to be working in the leave in after this. I also wanted to let you guys know that I had little to no hair in my comb, like finger detangling and not running your hands through your hair too much. Like it really does help. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my oil. So first I use a Jamaican black castor oil. This time I'm using the peppermint one, sweet almond oil and extra virgin olive oil. And I just mix three equal parts or what I view to be equal parts. 
into this container that I got from the beauty supply store for 99 cent. Y'all, excuse me. I just walked up the stairs out of breath, okay? Need to go to the gym. Need to do something with my life because there's no reason why that little walk up the stairs got me out of breath like this. But you see what I'm doing? Okay. Okay, now it's time to blow dry. I will have this blow dryer link below. So first, preferably I like to just let it air dry just a little bit in these twists. But since I didn't have that kind of time today, I just ran the blow dryer over each twist trying to, you know, trying to, trying to rig it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to put my oil on my edges. A lot of braiders, uh, especially in Atlanta, they don't want you to come with no oil, no leave-in conditioner, no nothing. I don't play like that. But I'm doing my own brace this time, so. <laughs> but yeah, the you know, listen to what they say if you're scared. <laughs> but they really, they are really strict about not having any oil in your hair. But anyway, I'm just gonna blow dry my hair with this wide tube comb, and I'm going to twist it right on up. And then once I'm done, I unravel each each section, and then I. And now for a little bit of a more detailed blow dryer, I add the attachment and then I go towards the ends only just to make sure that they're not too scrunched up because I'm doing knotless. So, yeah, I don't want the hair to be too, you know, you know how I be. You know how I go. If you know, you know. You know. So, that pretty much wraps this up, y'all. That's my hair blow dried. Um, it is a work in progress as always. Um, I'm going to really try to take my hair to the next level this year. So let me know some tips down below if y'all got any. And next I'm going to be showing y'all a little cute little <laughs> two twist that you can wear to the, to the shop. So you won't look too crazy. But yeah, I ain't going to nobody's shop. I told y'all I'm doing my own. But I just wanted to show y'all this. Thank you. I'll see y'all in my next video.